Hello guys, welcome back to our channel, The Collector's Hub. Let's continue the story of Dragon Age Veilguard. If you like this game, and would like us to continue with this series, give this video a like and subscribe to our channel, thank you. So far, we've made it inside the city with minimal losses. They did their job. Now, let's do ours. Right. Let's find Solus. The last report said he was helping the Shadow Dragons. If we locate the Shadow Dragons, we'll soon find Solus. Oh, Lady of Victory. The poor girl's not looking victorious right now. Look out! Oh, the Accompanied by Venatori! <laughs> Venatory now dark spawn of light in the streets. How much more can we take? And there he is, the demon of Virantium. At your service. They and I will return to the Crows and help with the fight through the city. You go after Solas. We spotted him. He's not far ahead. That way, quickly. All right. Taya said Solus should be up ahead. Let's find him. It just keeps getting worse. Evidently, it could be even worse without Solus assisting the Shadow Dragons.
Russia! Get out of my city! Asha! Did we win? You're lucky your head's so damn hard. Darkwin, Viper, you're alive! Thanks to Solus. He's been the only thing between us and Elgonon. Stay with them. I'm going to talk to Solus. You are as surprising as ever. Even I could not have escaped that prison for you to manage it. Varric believed in me when nobody else did. He was a good man. He was always there for me. Except that he wasn't. Because you killed him. What happened at the ritual site? I know what happened. I remember the truth now. You did something to my mind to make me keep seeing him. Yes. I was wrong to do so. You knew Varric was dead the whole time, but you kept pushing me not to see it. Why? How? I was desperate. Unless I escaped, the world would fall to tyranny and blight. The only tool I had was my tenuous connection to you. Blood magic. As I said, I was wrong. I knew you'd turn on me. All that big talk about freedom and justice. But when it counts, you're no different from Elganon. I know. I betrayed you because I believed that only I could save this world. But I have failed, Rook. I have not stopped Elganon. I have not even defeated his Archdemon. The victories that have been won since Elganon and Gilanane escaped are yours. Not mine. If we are to save this world, we must work together. You've got to be fucking kidding me. Do you not believe I want to stop Elganan? Of course you want to stop him. And as soon as he's gone, you're going to finish your ritual and drown the world in demons. If joining me and stopping Elganan requires the veil to stay in place, then I will pay that price unflinching. I swear by my own foolish pride, by love for friends I failed and hurt, by everything I ever held as sacred, I will leave the veil untroubled. It will never come down by my hand. Now, if you will come with me, I can show you what has prevented me from reaching Elganan. And you can tell me your plan. We were trying to get to the Divine's Manor in the center of the city. And the Blight Tendril connecting to the Archon's Palace. Yes, I thought the same. But some intelligence guides the Tendrils. It has prevented me from getting closer. You need not believe me. But right now, Rook, we need each other.
There's a large force arrayed against us ahead. Let us see if they have heard the legends of the Dreadwolf. Dark spawn. to be. Gallus, the elven slaves of Minrathus say you are one of the Shadow Dragons, fighting for their freedom. As did you. One of the few things we agree on. A shame you killed Varric. You were there. You saw that it was an accident. And I saw the magic you threw around just now. You could have stopped him without killing him. I was losing control of the ritual. All of my power was focused on keeping it in check. None of which trade your people. <laughs> 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 armies with the cruel and the brutal. No brilliant tacticians, only those he can dominate and those who wish to become like him. But you, Rook, your team is made from the clever, the wise and the loyal. You honored their strengths to make them yours. And that is why you are going to defeat him. Yeah! <laughs> 
Dev intelligence Elganan has set to direct the Blight. We are not far from it. Beyond the Blight there, perhaps. reacts to my presence. There. That must be the source of whatever intelligence guides it. If you can destroy the mind guiding the Blight, we may be able to reach the palace. I can accompany you no further. My presence will only draw the Blight to you. Once Elganon is mortal, the final blow must be yours. I can think of no one better to wield this. I thought I'd have to fight you for that dagger. Then this has been a day of surprises for us both. Good luck. When next we meet, let us be standing over Elganan's body! Laura, can you hear me? We're gonna get you out of there. The Laura is gone. There is only the will of Elgrenon. Giver of life. Resistance. 
You are not my god! Get out of my head! Rook? He was... He was all I could hear. It was my mind, but he made me want to help him. It's okay. You're free now. You're safe. None of us are safe. Once Elganon is dead? Wait! You can't kill Elgernon yet. If you do... Watch out! Come on! Alive. Thanks to the Wardens and the Mornwatch. Apologies for missing the War Council. We got inside the city with the Veil Jumpers. It gave us a chance to finally strike back at the Venatori. Whatever you did unblocked entrances to the Divine's Manor. It also destroyed some of the Blight. It'll come back. I can still feel it. I don't think I'm the only mage he used like this. Bellara, you're all right. Rook freed me, but I learned things when I was in that blight eruption. We need to talk. We will. But first, we need to get you to a healer. We'll take care of her. Thanks. I'll join you in a bit. Just want to check on everyone else coming in. Well, we still have time. <laughs> Elgernon and the Venatori have destroyed my city. This is our final chance to take it back. We will win, Rook, or die trying. Take our fight to the palace, Rook. Take our fight to the palace, Rook. Even gods may die. We have every confidence in your plan. Kindly put this affair to rest. Those who fell in our fight lie in the next room. They will be taken to grave or pyre once our battle has ended, as their beliefs dictate. For now, they wait, and we attend them. If you wish to pay your respects, please enter.
You're dead. Rook, the Venatori brought death to Mindratus. We've made many of them pay, but they still owe us a balance. You take care of Elgarnan. We'll keep after his remaining followers on the ground. Minrathus, all of Thedas, will remember the crows on this day. Let's see this done. Fighting through a city run by Venatori. It's what Treviso could have been, but worse. <laughs> Was that suitably self-absorbed? Go win again, Rook. Hate to admit it, but Solus really came through for us. Now it's just Elgonan we have to deal with. We'll watch the streets. You rip that god from his throne. Bring the light. Stay safe, Rook. It's been years since I fought in a battle like this. The Crows defeated the Venatori at the gates, thanks to you and the Lords. The pleasure was all mine. I got to dust off the daggers for good people. Rest up while you can. You'll need it. You show those gods who you are. You laugh in their faces, and you bring them down for Varric. Pull this off, and they'll tell the tale for generations. It's what Varric would have wanted. For gold, for glory, for Varric. We've all had enough of Elgernon's tyranny. Be sure to silence him. Fear and Selene. Fear and Selene. Watch Emric's back, all right? Watch Emric's back, all right? The Archdeep Rook. It's been a hard fight to get here. And against stranger foes than we imagined. It's almost the end now. We have this, Hook. I know it. You'll be fine. Go finish this. Rook, stand firm and watch Liz Harding's back. He was in my head the whole time. It was like I wanted to help him. Oh, Balara, I'm so sorry. He's filled with the blight, and I think... I am too. Rook. No. I refuse to lose anyone else I care about to these monsters. Alara, stay alive. That's an order. We'll talk to the Wardens after we take down Elgernon. No, you can't. That's what I needed to tell you. When Elgernon was in my mind, I was kind of in his, too. I could feel him. His mind, his magic, his life force. It's tied to the veil. His life is the only thing holding the veil in place. I felt the veil weaken when Gilanane fell. 
I expect that when Solus imprisoned the other gods, he bound them all thus. And now that Elganon is the only one left... If we kill him, the veil collapses. Which is why Solus gave me the dagger. Damn it! He said something about this in that memory of him binding the gods. I thought he was just stealing their magic. I didn't realize he meant it literally. We still have to kill Elganon. So what can we do? Can we tie the veil to something else to keep it in place? For an enchantment like that, we'll need a specific substitute. The veil was made to be tied to the ancient elven gods. Then let's tie it to Solus. He's the only elven god left. Binding him will require drawing his blood with a lyrium dagger. And I doubt he's going to like the idea. Cutting him to bind him to the veil? That's blood magic. We do it if we have to, but only if we have to. What about this? The dagger we made while you were in the Fade. Once Elganon is dead, odds are good that Solus will need to do something else to complete his ritual. This dagger looks identical, but it can't go through enchantments like the real thing. So if he tries to use it... The backlash of such magic would render him helpless. Unless he notices. You really want to try a bait and switch on the Dreadwolf? Is there any chance, any chance at all, that he would listen to reason? Speaking from the heart, Inquisitor? Varric died trying to reason with him. As did Mithal when Solus took her power. But we have you, Morrigan. You have Mithal's memories. And we have the essence of the other fragment of Mithal from the crossroads. Such power, even fragmented, is not to be taken lightly. Hold it for now. And when the time comes, if you believe the Dreadwolf's heart can be turned from this course, I shall try. Because of everyone here, and everyone we lost to get here, we've got options for dealing with Solus. For now, let's focus on Elganon. He's in the palace above us. We'll climb the Blight Tendril together. Once Solus takes down the Archdemon and renders Elganon mortal, we hit him with everything we've got. Damn right we do. Time's running short. Stock up on supplies, pay your respects, and say goodbye to the people you love. Be ready to go when I signal. Oh, it is purest relief to see us all gathered safe and sound. We reunited with Bellara. What that poor girl has been through, and she still returned to the fray. Elganon must fear what we might accomplish once we storm his tower. To come this far, only to fail at the last minute. And the irony will kill me before Elganon can. Elganon will be formidable, but it's Solus who truly worries me. He is, however, a former spirit. As such, Solus cannot help but listen to appeals to his nature, his yearning for reflection. I could try talking him down once I find him. The spirits whisper. One way or another, I believe the Dread Wolf's tale draws to its conclusion. It has been a grand privilege, Rook, to have come so far and known all of you. What luck that the distinguished Professor Volcarin joined our cause after we found him in the necropolis. Feels as if that were years ago. Time passes swiftly in good company. Onwards, Rook. The gods await. You've got this. You've got this. Get out there, and do what you do best. We didn't lose anybody. We hit the city that the Antom couldn't conquer and got out clean. We've even got Ballara back. We're gaining people. Don't call attention to our lucky streak. We'll need it at the Archon's Palace. Thanks for keeping Harding safe. 
She takes risks when she gets mad. Harding takes risks when she gets mad? She's itching to take a shot at Elgernon. And probably Solas. You're a big reason we got this far, Tosh. <laughs> Just point me at the dragons. Hey, listen. You... Help me figure out who I was. I'm Ravani. I'm a dragon hunter. My mother didn't like that. But maybe she'd be proud of me anyway. Chakra Toebra, Tosh. I know she would. I'm a better person because of you. So, thanks. Now let's go kick some ass. How are you feeling, Ballora? Everyone filled me in, told me about everything that happened since I've been gone. It, it's a lot. I knew Elgrenon was doing something. I could feel it through the blight. I just didn't know how big it was, how awful it was. But most everyone's still alive, still fighting. That's more than I could have hoped for, more than I expected. So, um, okay, I think. Look, at this point, I'll take okay. Could be a lot worse. Given everything we faced, okay is better than okay. And the blight? How's it feeling? Like it's tying itself around me. It's in my blood. In my head, I feel it whispering to me. But it doesn't get to decide how my story goes. Even if it's only got a few chapters left, let's make the most of each one of them and give it the happiest ending we can manage. Varric liked to say everything was a story. Helped him make sense of all of it. I always wanted to meet him. He sounded smart and kind. Yeah, he was. Rook, thank you. For what? For helping me put the ghosts of the past to rest. Now let's go kill a god. I'm helping the Shadow Dragons with supplies while they're short-handed. Go on, pick out something nice. Enjoy the view up there. Of course Solus lied to us. Again. I expect it, and yet I'm surprised every time. But we're chipping away at Elgernon's forces. I thought that was impossible. 
He commands armies, and he's a god. Really close to one, anyway. We even got Bulara back. I keep thinking. Something has to go wrong somewhere. Right? Stick to the plan, and we'll walk out of here with Elganon's head on a stick. I'll pass on the head, and stick, before this ends, in case things don't work out. I want you to know that I'm grateful for you. You believed in me when I couldn't, and you helped me see the strength I always had. Just one final push to the palace. We're so close, Rook. For Varric. For all that he meant to us. I'm ready. Let's finish this. Lucanes, everything all right? We have made it here and fared well in the fight. Now we only have to wait. But Spike grows impatient, as do I. This may be the calm before a final storm, but I don't feel it. I know it's hard, but this is our last chance to rest before we finish this. <sighs> You're right. The first Talon should have more patience. It won't be much longer. Elgrenon's life is measured in hours. As for Solas, it's been asked if he can see reason. Solas has proven his word cannot be trusted. Why give him the chance to prove it again? But then, I gave that chance to Ilario. Is there hope for him, or was I foolish to think so? Whatever happens, my contract was for the Blighted Gods. Today it is fulfilled. When I went to the Crows, I asked for their best, and we got it. The demon of Virandium. I had a reputation to maintain. Rook, I owe you my life. When I left the ossuary, I knew I could not be the same. What I've managed to reclaim, what I can make of moving forward, I'm in your debt for it. And now, the god dies. We finish a contract. Keep a promise. Spite and I are in agreement. You have a pair of demons at your service. Nev, how are you holding up? I've seen reports from the city. The lost... But more are still standing than I might have bet on. Every person who gets through this is a win. We started this together and... Now we stay focused, cross our fingers, and keep our guard up. There's more on your mind. This started with Solus. It will end there, too. He played mind games with you, targeted emotions, then went right for the heart. People with power, sometimes it's best not to play their games. Other times you need to play them smarter. However this plays out, I'm with you, Trouble. Right to the end. I couldn't do this without you. Sure you could, but it wouldn't be as fun. <laughs> Rook, before we go, I... It's all right. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> Good. Now let's finish this job.
A word, Rook? Any last advice from Mythal? Tis a difficult battle you face, but you are among more allies than you know. You have purified the crossroads, uncovered ancient truths lost for ages, and earned the essence of Mythal. You are truly the champion of the Fade. Take this. Should your fight against Elganon grow desperate, invoke the memories of the Dreadwolf's rebels. For you, they will stand against tyranny one last time. Bad news, everyone. Elganon's forces are gathering outside. They mean to prevent you from reaching their master. Our people will set up barricades, and we'll hold the enemy as long as we can. You need to start climbing. One of us should help. I'm going up there. I owe Elganon for what he did. You go to face a god, Rook, but any aid you might spare would be welcomed. Tosh, you up for it? Yep. We'll be cheering for you, Rook. All my best.
okay. There's got to be another way up. are doing and everyone back down below they've got their job we've got ours we need to focus on the throne room He'll do whatever it takes to stop Elgin. Glad you were there. 
that you're still here. Back at you, Lace. Now we finish this. For Varric. For Varric. Throne room. Knowing Algernon, we'll find him there. Ruck! You made it. Algernon's using the Magisters to control the Blight, just like he used me. They're directing all of it at Solus. He won't make it without our help. How do you know? I can still feel it. Hear it. The Blight? I'll help Solus. Just get to the throne room. Trouble all the way. Let's finish this.
such arrogance, thinking you can hide from your creator. And I am this world's creator. Demeter's Crossing and Weishaupt and everywhere else you've left your mark. I didn't see any glory. All I saw was a tyrant destroying everything he touches. You mistake discipline for cruelty, a failing among those who lack a master's gentle guidance. We only destroyed because you resisted. In the new empire, every child would have blossomed under my protection. And Gilanane, my brilliant sister, would have forged the Blight into a tool of beauty. But she is dead. And all we have is this. Because of you. Did as 
well as anyone could have. But you cannot deny the truth. I can do this. I have to. Enjoy it while it lasts. If you will not bow, you will burn. Your recalcitrance has doomed every pathetic in existence. I will see the last glimmer of defiance from this wretched world. And from the ashes shall rise a blighted empire bound to me alone. There is no light that saves my glory, no refuge. Shadow, no desire, save my perfected intention. I am creator and destroyer. I am will made manifest. It is done. The world owes you a debt, both for defeating Elganan and for bringing down the Veil. I am sorry for this final betrayal, but I will do what I can to minimize the damage. When you see the old world restored... <laughs> Please, Rook. I do not wish to fight against you. <sighs> the veil's not coming down on my watch. <laughs> It is over. You can never stand against me alone. If you will excuse me, the final enchantments require a delicate touch.
standing against you, and I am not alone. But you will be. The veil needs to be tied to the life force of an elven god. And now it is. Dread Wolf. You sneer at me so you understand. You are mortal compared to you, to your infinitesimal existence. I am a god! With Elgernon and Gilanane dead, and the Dread Wolf locked away in his own prison, it looked like one of the biggest stories this world had ever seen was finally drawing to a close. not coming down on my watch. It is over. You could never stand against me alone. If you would excuse me, the final enchantments require a delicate touch. A delicate touch? You kill Varric, stab me in the back. You're about to drown the world in demons. How are you any different from Elganon, trying to impose your will on all of us? Elganon would have seized his victory by force. You were not crushed by the power of the Dread Wolf. You were bested fairly, by wits alone. Dagger was a fake. Here's the real one. And now the veil is once again tied to the life force of an elven god. Bested fairly by wits alone. <laughs> I taught you well. Varric taught me well. And you killed him. You think yourself capable of judging me? I have faced things you could not possibly comprehend. You are a mortal. A mortal. And I am... <laughs> With Elgernon and Gilanane dead, and the Dread Wolf finally outsmarted by a mere mortal, it looked like one of the biggest stories this world had ever seen was finally drawing to a close. I don't want to fight you either. But I don't want to see the world go through even more pain on top of what Elganon has done. Do you? This world is broken, Rook. Because of my mistakes. You're right. 
You do need to make up for the damage you've done. But breaking the world again is the wrong way to do it. Letting the veil collapse is what you want. Making amends isn't about what you want. You have a chance right now to save the world. Bind yourself to the veil and stop it from falling. I cannot. To stop now would dishonor those I have wronged to come this far. Even if those you wronged asked you to stop? Venom. You think you've gone too far to come back. But you're wrong. I am here, walking the Denan Sheral with you. I lied. I betrayed you. I forgive you. All you have to do is stop. Irabalas, Renan. But I cannot. Long before we met, I failed my oldest friend. She died for that failure. If I leave the veil in place, I am destroying the world she wanted. And I will have... She will have died for nothing. And whose fault is that, Dreadwolf? Morrigan. One appellation among many, I wear. I have been advisor to Orle, Witch of the Wilds, daughter of Flemeth. And once, long ago, an old friend. Mithal lives on in her, and in this. <laughs> Mithal. I pulled you from the Fade you loved and sent you into war. I used your wisdom as a weapon, and it broke you. The things that I have done... ...are not for you alone to bear, my friend. The many wrongs we did, we did together. I release you from my service. Banal Nadas, Arlathma, Venan. <laughs> My life force now sustains the veil. With every breath I take, I will protect the innocent from my past failures. The Titan's dreams are mad from their imprisonment. I cannot kill the Blight, but I can help to soothe its anger. I will go and seek atonement. But you do not have to go alone. Arkelas vir banal. Tel banal arama vir shiral malasa. 
Belanares. Thank you, Rook. With Elgernon and Gillanane dead, and the Inquisitor finally reunited with her true love, it looked like one of the biggest stories this world had ever seen was finally drawing to a close. The story of the Veil God, a team of heroes who stood strong against evil, no matter the cost. Whatever it takes. But whenever one story ends, another begins. Like the story of the Grey Wardens, clearing the remains of the Blight so that the flowers can grow again. Or the story of Arkandorian Parvus, fighting to bring Minrathus out from under Venatori rule. Or the story of a caretaker, Standing watch for new heroes. For the Antivan Crows, it would be a story of liberation from invaders and usurpers alike, as Treviso threw off its shackles. Among the Veil Jumpers, the fall of the last elven gods meant Arlathan was reborn. At their heart, stories are about change. A man seeing his ward become more than he could ever have imagined. A woman protecting Docktown at all costs against an unknown future. An assassin and a demon setting aside the past for the sake of family. A student of history helping the elves regain what they lost. A dragon hunter forging a new life for themselves. Or the Griffins, finding a new home in Arlathan, protecting a world that once thought them lost for good. Or the Dwarven people, rediscovering their lost magic and their connection to the stone. 
There are stories of love. But those stories aren't over. And we will always be grateful to those whose stories brought us where we are today. And those whose stories will live on with us forever. and fruit ripens. 